You know, when the Philadelphia Eagles went to the Super Bowl two years ago, that was their most successful season since 1960 when they last won the NFL championship. And one of the stars on that team was pass receiver Tommy McDonald. He was supposed to be too small to play pro football, but instead, as Irv now tells us, McDonald became one of the legends of the game. Philadelphia's Franklin Field is another one of those grand old ballparks that's been abandoned by the National Football League. But the memories made here seem to live on. Back in 1960, the Philadelphia Eagles won the National Football League championship right here at Franklin Field. And they did so by beating the Green Bay Packers. It was the only championship game a Vince Lombardi coach Packer team ever lost. As I recall, it was rather pleasant here that December day in 1960 and some 67,000 plus fans turned out. And what they saw was a pint-sized pass catcher from Oklahoma blaze a trail through the Packers. Throwing out here for Tommy McDonald. People always kept telling me I was too small. You're too small, you're too small. I always got that and that motivated me by me being too small, I was going to show everybody that there was a, a, a place in the game for the small guy in professional football. Tommy McDonald buzzed through NFL defenses like a bumblebee. And if nothing else, the fact that he played without a face mask earned him league-wide respect. But of all his admirers, perhaps his biggest was that legendary head coach who McDonald helped beat back in the 1960 championship game. Vince Lombardi gave me one of the greatest compliments I ever got, and it was in the Pro Bowl. I'd just taken off my jersey and my shoulder pads, and he said, Tommy, I know I'll never have a chance to tell you this because I don't get to see you that much because I'm with Green Bay and you're with another team, but I just want you to know, you give me t uh, 11 Tommy McDonald's, and I'll have a heck of a football team on the field. And I'll never forget that in my entire life. In fact, Herb Batterly said, I wished I had a microphone because I have never heard him say anything like that to anybody. Through 12 seasons with five different teams, Tommy McDonald was a five foot, nine inch, 168 pound dynamo who never outgrew the excitement of scoring a touchdown. Most of my stuff was long balls, you know. So when I turned around, everybody was so far back up the field and everything, and I, you know, I'm ready to start doing it, you know, <laughs> high fives and everything all of a sudden. Nobody's there to do it, you know. So I started taking back after him, and I'd usually the one I wanted to seek out was the quarterback, and I found Munson this one time. I hit Munson too hard, you know, and we both wound up on the grass and everything, and he got up, and the sports writers asked him about it after the game, and he said, I think that's the hardest I was hit all day or whatever. <laughs> The legendary Tommy McDonald, still a free spirit, although today he does wear a face mask. We always like to say, Irv, that uh, those great characters sometimes mellow out. I don't think he has it all. <laughs> Tommy has always been and always will be a free spirit. Great guy, though. He was wearing those gold chains before it was fashionable. <laughs> and 